uh, we are going to be making some good old-fashioned southern cornbread. Now, this recipe was passed down to me by my mother-in-law, God rest her soul. This is the best cornbread I've ever tasted. Um, I had a couple of stipulations before I got married to my husband, who is a southern man from southwest Virginia. I'm originally from Maryland, so I had to learn how to make cornbread, not from a box, not from the Jiffy Mix. I had to learn how to make biscuits and gravy, and the other thing was um, how to make chicken and dumplings from scratch. So you'll be seeing those recipes coming up. And let's get into making some cornbread. Now, before you start, you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. And let me swing my camera around here. I've got it in the oven. And in the oven, I also have the iron skillet heating up with some oil on it. There's about uh, two tablespoons of oil in there heating up. So, you'll see why we do that. Now, we're going to come over here. Let me get my camera adjusted. It's first time filming in the kitchen, so bear with me. We've got our bowl. And into that, we're going to put two cups of cornmeal. I use self-rising yellow cornmeal. And you're just going to dump that into your bowl. Then you're going to take, I'm going to put that in the sink so it's out of the way, one large egg and we're going to add one quarter cup of mayo and this is real mayo, not Miracle Whip, not salad dressing, mayonnaise. It makes a big difference. Yes, you want all that fat in there. This is country cooking, y'all. You want that fat from that mayonnaise. To that, you're going to add one half a cup of buttermilk. And this is full flavored buttermilk, not the half fat, fat free. This is buttermilk. And I'm going to make sure I get it all. And I'm going to incorporate all that in there right now. Whisk that up. Before I get too much more in here. I'm going to also add one half a cup of flour. And that's self-rising flour also. This just makes this a little bit fluffier. Now as you can see, this is a very dense mix right now. Let me get this all incorporated together. And we're going to add, we're going to start with a third cup of water. And just mix that in there. And as you can hear, my oven is done heating. You don't want this mix to be too runny. I'm going to add another third cup of cold tap water. Just a little bit at a time. until it's all mixed in nice and good you don't want your batter too runny and you don't want it too thick there's a fine line here we're going to take another third cup of cold water and add that in and that should probably be about enough I have never truly done the measurements on this. I've just done it by eye. My mother-in-law did it by eye and by feel. And that's the way you want it to look. Not real runny, not real thick. Kind of like a cake mix. Let's just stir that up a little more to incorporate it. Get my egg out of the way. Stir that in the sink and out of the way. Now, we got a little mess on the countertop. My husband tells me I am the messiest cook there is. So, we're going to 
put a hot mitt down and we're gonna get our nice hot iron skillet out of the oven and you're gonna see let me back the camera up so you can see this why you want this nice and hot see that sizzle that's what you want to hear when you're pouring this in here that seals your cornbread up and gives it that nice brown crust that we all like now let me pardon me here for one minute you scrape all this goodness into that and then I'm just going to spread it around and we're going to put this back into the oven let me pull that back up now we're going to cook that for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on the top and when it's done I'll come back and get some shots of that and guys that's uh, all there is to making old-fashioned cornbread okay everybody the uh, cornbread is out of the oven and it is nice and golden brown just the way hubby likes it so let me set the camera down a minute there you go we're gonna take and flip that out and you can see the bottom nice and golden brown Whew, that baby's hot and that's nice and golden brown so We've got the cornbread out of the oven.